NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft recently reconnected with Earth using a backup radio transmitter that hadn't been active since 1981. That's right. This spacecraft, the most distant human-made object from Earth, used an old transmitter to phone home after decades of silence from this backup system. In this video, we'll journey through the story of Voyager 1, explore the significance of this unexpected reconnection, and uncover the important lessons this event holds for future space exploration. In October 2024, Voyager 1 encountered a communication challenge that put its resilience to the test. On October 16th, NASA engineers sent a command to activate one of its heaters, a routine measure to keep specific instruments warm. But this command triggered Voyager 1's fault protection system, an automated protocol designed to protect the spacecraft from potential malfunctions. The system immediately shut down its primary X-band radio transmitter, which had been Voyager's main link with Earth for decades. With the X-band transmitter offline, Voyager's fault protection system took action. It automatically switched over to a secondary S-band transmitter, which hadn't been used since 1981. This transmitter operates at a lower frequency and emits a weaker signal than the X-band, which posed a challenge given its distance, more than 15 billion miles from Earth. Even under ideal conditions, signals from Voyager take nearly 23 hours to reach Earth, creating a substantial delay for each command and response. In response, NASA's Deep Space Network, or DSN, adapted quickly. The DSN, which is a global array of powerful radio antennas used to communicate with distant spacecraft, was adjusted to detect Voyager 1's faint S-band signal. Engineers carefully tuned the DSN receivers, mindful that sending additional commands could risk triggering further fault protection responses. After days of meticulous adjustments, they successfully re-established contact on October 24th, restoring Voyager 1's ability to resume its scientific mission in interstellar space. This spacecraft's journey began on September 5th, 1977, with a mission to explore the outer planets, a feat no spacecraft had attempted before. Originally intended to study Jupiter and Saturn, it exceeded all expectations, capturing groundbreaking data and images that changed our understanding of the solar system. In March 1979, it made its closest approach to Jupiter. The spacecraft's images revealed the gas giant's swirling storms, complex atmosphere, and faint rings, marking humanity's first detailed look at Jupiter. But the discoveries didn't stop there. It captured volcanic activity on Io, one of Jupiter's moons, a finding that marked the first observation of active volcanoes beyond Earth. This unexpected discovery demonstrated that moons in our solar system could be geologically dynamic and reshaped scientists' understanding of volcanic activity. After its Jupiter mission, Voyager 1 continued to Saturn, making its closest approach in November 1980. The spacecraft captured extraordinary details of Saturn's rings and newly discovered moons, revealing a faint new ring, the G-ring, and helping scientists study the structure of Saturn's rings and the gravitational forces shaping them. But Voyager 1's journey didn't end with Saturn. After completing its planetary missions, it continued on a path that would eventually take it beyond the solar system. In August 2012, it crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, becoming the first human-made object to reach interstellar space. This milestone marks one of humanity's most remarkable achievements, pushing the limits of our exploration into the cosmos. Voyager 1's backup transmitter activation presents several key lessons and insights for future space missions. First, it underscores the importance of redundant systems and fault protection mechanisms in spacecraft design. 
Its ability to shift to a backup transmitter after more than four decades shows the value of such redundancies, especially for deep space missions far beyond human reach. Power management is crucial for long duration missions. With Voyager 1's limited power supply steadily decreasing, NASA engineers have routinely shut down non-essential systems, focusing on vital instruments for data collection. This approach provides useful strategies for future missions in low-energy environments, like the outer solar system or interstellar space, emphasizing the importance of conserving power to sustain operations over time. Besides, the conditions of space, including cosmic radiation and temperature extremes, can wear down equipment over time. Yet the spacecraft's instruments and systems have continued to function, providing valuable data for decades. It has also demonstrated autonomy in deep space missions. Since passing Saturn, it has operated mostly independently due to the lengthy communication delay. Its ability to detect issues and make adjustments without commands from Earth is crucial for missions in remote areas where real-time control is impractical. Moreover, its continuous data collection from interstellar space has given scientists their first direct measurements of the interstellar medium, including data on cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and particle densities. Finally, this mission resonates far beyond the scientific community. Its resilience and longevity have inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers, showing that space exploration is not only about gathering data, but also about human curiosity and ambition. Voyager 1 symbolizes the human desire to reach beyond known boundaries, to explore the unknown, and to push past limitations. The legacy of Voyager 1 will continue to inspire future generations to look to the stars, wonder, and reach for the mysteries beyond our solar system. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the incredible story of Voyager 1. Its resilience and adaptability remind us of the limitless possibilities in space exploration and the enduring spirit of discovery. As we look to future missions, Voyager 1's legacy will continue to inspire and guide us as we venture deeper into the cosmos. Music